Hey folks, today I'm going to see if I can fix this chair. What I have here is uh, your basic kitchen chair, came out of my kitchen, and as you can see, it has a broken spindle in the back. As I was looking at it, one thing I noticed is that this is not the only broken spindle, because as I looked, this spindle, there's a, there's a crack right there. So what I think I'd like to do is I'd like to just drill this bottom stub out from below, and then ideally I'd like to drill a hole right into the spindle, and then fit a length of dowel in there. And I blew out the side. Here you can see I blew out the spindle. I'm not real happy about that, but really, this is going to be on the back of the chair and once I have it glued in, hopefully I can shape it and stain it and we will, well, hopefully not see it. Okay. Got a dowel. Got another dowel with a hole in the end. And Okay, just to sum up here, I first drilled on the angle and I managed to blow out the side of the spindle. I mean, partly that was this leg was in the way. I could not quite get the right angle on the drill and I was trying to not take this apart. Then I realized I didn't have any 3 8 dowels. I had half inch dowels. So I made the hole just a little bit bigger with a half inch drill. And then I uh, used a quarter inch bit to go a little bit deeper. Same thing with the end of the dowel. And then I fit a little quarter inch dowel in that to join the top dowel to the spindle. And I filled it with epoxy. These spindles do not go through. But I'd still like to fix this one. But by measuring and marking I can pretty sure I know where the dowel is, so what I plan to do is take this one inch Forstner and drill down slowly until I reveal the bottom of this spindle and then I will switch to a small drill to again drill a little dowel hole down the middle to reinforce it. I drilled a little over a quarter inch deep here and I'm just revealing the bottom of that dowel. Which five minute epoxy in the joint because I'm pretty sure it is not what you would call a perfect joint. I took a one inch dowel and I carved a little notch out to fit around the dowel which I hope is a good way to deal with trying to give as much strength as I can to this. Here's what you see underneath, stains and all. Here's the first dowel that I drilled out and plugged. There's the second one. Well, I think that's about it. Can you tell the difference? <laughs>